Oh, hi, YouTube family. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to On the Cusp with Daphne, a place where inspiration meets evolution. And a warm welcome to this very short and impromptu video that I had no plan of making for you today. However, because I want you to be on the cutting edge of these job opportunities, I come to you with this raw video waiting for a perfect moment to get home, to edit, to bring it to you. It's time. We are not the only people that are seeing these opportunities, but I'd like you to be, as I say, on the cutting edge of these job opportunities. So stay tuned as I bring you the latest one that I've come across that I am very excited about, and I hope you will meet it with as much gusto and enthusiasm and act on it if you are a suitable candidate. And if you're not a suitable candidate, there is plenty and opportunity for you to improve whatever needs to be improved on your side to make yourself um, compliant and make yourself a suitable candidate. I have in all my videos kept saying the job opportunities will keep changing from time to time. It is a fluid situation, one on which we need to keep close tabs on. So please familiarize yourself with the fact that on this channel, you will come across impromptu information, impromptu videos like this that have not been edited, that have had very little work done to them just so they reach you on time because um, we cannot afford to waste time when you come across a unique opportunity. So stay tuned as I tell you more about the one that I have come across today. If you are a returning subscriber, please allow me a moment to appreciate you, to thank you for your support, to thank you for being on the channel and for keeping coming back. If you're new to the channel, consider making On The Cusp with Daphne your virtual home away from home, a place where you come to for opportunities such as this one and many other questions relating to working and studying overseas. This is your one-stop shop where I would like for you to subscribe and make it home and feel at home, make it your virtual home away from home. On to the vacancy, latest vacancies I've come across. But uh, the point being, thank you so much for your subscriptions. Consider subscribing if you have not done so already. I intend to bring you value-adding content. Given the time constraints on my side, I may not have the liberty or the luxury to upload the video where I tell you about what the requirements are for you to come over as a nurse. But this vacancy has seems to have very few requirements from what I can see. And with what little time I have, I've tried to go online. The plan being, I was hoping to call this particular recruiter, um, but on their socials, they don't have a number to call. Apparently, they're based in London. I say apparently because this is the information I found about them when I looked them up to make sure they were legitimate before I come to you. I still ask you to do your due diligence as somebody who is job seeking and looking for these opportunities. They seem to be legitimate from the handles I've seen. I've checked them up with the companies that are registered in the UK. They do appear as they say on the website. So I'm hoping you are talking to the right people, but um, it's important to, to check and be vigilant whilst we are so enthusiastic and excited about these opportunities. So the best I can do now is to screen share with you the details of the vacancy as it appears on my on my other mobile. You can see it's for a support worker for a tier two visa, which is the same visa as we talk about the health and care worker visa internationally recruiting. So I'm going to read through what the um, vacancy says quickly and uh, let you know about how to contact them at the end of the video. So bear with me if I'm looking to the side, really, it is more to look at the vacancy and give you the details of the vacancy as they come through. So care worker in the UK, international recruitment, tier two visa. Job salary is 20,480, which is the minimum requirement for the government to issue you with a visa. The job type is full time and it's permanent. What are the qualifications? What are they looking for? So for qualifications, they're only listed English. We always talk about English. Please check out my IELTS video to familiarize yourself with the English requirements. They've also put in the bachelor's degree preferred. Necessarily, I don't think that is really an important thing to have, but their assumption would be that if you hold a bachelor's degree, your, especially one done in the English language, your command of English should be reasonable and um, Obviously, this is like a graduate, but they're saying it's preferable. It's not mandatory. It's not essential. It's just a preferred thing to have. So it would seem if you minus the bachelor's degree, the preferred thing to have is just the knowledge of English. 
which is quite nice. But I also don't want you to just take it at face value like that. It's important for you to have your experience under your belt. It's important for you. If you don't have that experience, find the placement that I tell you about in other videos. If you don't, if you have the experience, do register for those free online courses that I also tell you about that are UK based, the 15 care certificates, find one of the free ones or the one that are costing you like the smallest amount of money. Even if you do more than one, they will look so good on your CV for these people. If you are really determined, I think in three days, those courses can be done. The online courses. I mean, I'm just maximizing when I say three days. If you just dedicate a day, it should be possible to finish them but again i don't think it's advisable to consume information in that way especially information that you're looking to apply at a later stage that quickly in one day even if you do it would still be advisable for you to go back to read to understand comprehend so you're able to answer many of the practical questions in the interview as they might be based around those modules that you're going to complete online so yes <laughs> just bear with me um we come into more details about the video then comes the job description, which is quite lengthy. I will not uh, go into the details of that, but I will include it at the end of the video. The benefits amongst many include, but are not limited to, salaried contract, ensuring consistent month-to-month -month income. None of our support workers are contracted on a monthly uh, basis, as you would do perhaps with an agency. So what they're guaranteeing here is full-time employment in short. Flexible working shift, all training provided. Inevitable interruptions during this, during my break, a working lunch. So amongst the benefits I was telling you about, the flexible um, working shift pattern. It's actually quite nice when you find a recruiter like this that speaks the language. It also says we welcome international candidates from Asia, the Philippines, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, UAE, Nepal, etc. Also Africa and all other countries. So it's a case of, I mean, it's so inclusive and they are really are speaking the language that you'd like to hear from a recruiter. You haven't got to educate them about anything, about what you need from an employer. So... I will spare you the details and post them on the at the end of the video. I'm trying to go back to the benefits where I got interrupted when I say they include, but they're not limited to flexible working shift, all training provided, comprehensive rates of pay, extreme extensive learning, opportunities for part or fully funded degrees for you to further your education. It gets better, it's long, it's exhaustive. Uh, again, I will not waste any more time telling you about the benefits. Now comes the part where they're talking about the qualities that you as a care worker, potential care worker for, the, for them should possess. They say our uh, support workers should ideally have these qualities. They should be passionate about making a positive difference in people's lives. They should have a strong humanistic values. They should have strong humanistic values, work with person-centered approach and um, good communication skills, reflective and can work therapeutically. It sounds like such little to ask for. So that's why I'm saying um, don't take it at face value. Do add your own bit of experience and uh, certificates that I recognize in the UK, which I have done a special video on titled three online courses you can take to boost your CV in the UK and experience. The next uh, title, which I'm also not going to go through, is why work for our client. They tell you all the reasons why you should work for their client. Their working hours are 42 hours a week, which are 12-hour shifts. DBS, remember, this is the what uh, the police clearance is called in the UK. It's called a disclosure barring service. In essence, that is a police check will be necessary for you to undertake this position. Many, many benefits, including pension, uh, store discounts, wellness programs. COVID-19 considerations require, well, we are required under COVID-19 considerations, what they're saying is you are required to wear a face, face mask on the job unless exempt ability to communicate and relocate to Greater London. Welcome to London um, is also required. You should be able to be willing to travel to London. So what I'm going to do to share with you this very exciting opportunity. <laughs> I'm so excited. I feel like um, it's meant for somebody out there. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share the job reference. I'm going to share all the details and include them at the end of this video. It is a video like no other I have made before, but I felt by waiting and trying to delay it until I was in a place where I could um, record properly and talk to you in the manner that I always do, it is going to be um, costing somebody something. I really want to bring you hot off the press news as I receive them. So... Once again, you will remember on my videos about the recruiting um, agents, I'll try to link those videos at a later date, but stage, but not today. Um, today being the 22nd of March, I will include those videos, but I do tell you about indeed.co.uk. So it's also another good website to familiarize yourself with. And um, I will post the job reference for you to look it up and also the name of this recruiter when I upload it with the hope that it will be uploaded and reach you by the 23rd of March. That is probably the earliest I can do this with minimal effort. Thank you for tuning in and may I ask for your support for this channel to subscribe, to share, to like, to comment below and kindly keep me posted of your journey. Let me know what you find from this vacancy. Needless to say, um, these are the kind of vacancies that get overwhelming response. So if uh, you find yours um, is taking a long time to be acknowledged, be patient. Try not to pester people and try not to apply when you're not ready, just so you're not off-putting and people don't even take you seriously the day you're ready. In the meantime, if you feel like you're not suitable for this position, I would just suggest that you do all the necessary preparations and up your game and then submit. There will be many of such opportunities coming through on this channel. I ask you to remain on the cusp, a place where inspiration meets evolution. Step on the cusp so we can evolve together on this journey of self-discovery and growth. Let's grow together. Let's evolve together. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned until the next one. Important piece of detail is that this job is advertised by Resilience Personnel Limited, based in London. Resilience Personnel Limited, and the job itself, I found it in Indeed. I have told you in one of my videos to make sure you get yourself, um, you list your interest or register an interest at least with Indeed for such kind of jobs. There are several others, but I just want to keep this video sweet and short and focused on this unique and wonderful opportunity. Let me know how it all goes.